Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. Um, today I ran to Hobby Lobby again only because they're now their stuff is 80 and 90% off and some is 66 but everything I bought was basically on sale and I think I got some really good deals. Um, so I didn't buy a lot but um, the stuff I bought was really good deals so I'm really happy with my purchases from Hobby Lobby and pretty much there's not a ton of stuff left over and they have all their fall stuff is 40% off now so if you're looking for fall stuff I almost got two small cotton wreaths they were $9.99 they would have been 40% off they would have been like um $5.99 and I was gonna get them for these baskets that I got but I will show you the couple things I got. It wasn't that much, but I'm really happy with the stuff. So I had gotten, this is the spring um, shop, and this is regularly $24.99, and it has these cute little, like, buckets with twine around them, and then it's got the little wood um, metal holder, and that was only $5.00 from $24.99. So I was almost put it down. I said, what am I gonna do with this? But I said, for $5, that's a really, really good deal. And then this is from the spring shop too. That's the stuff that was 80 to 90% off. This was originally $11.99 and I got it for $2.40. It's very cute. It's like a windmill design for napkins. It holds napkins. And it has a little wooden bottom. It's very cute. I'm not sure if I'm going to do it in my kitchen or my dining room. Because in my dining room, I have a big windmill like this. But a big full one that I had gotten from. It was either I ordered it online. And it might have been Kirkland's. Um, Kirkland's or Hobby Lobby. I believe it was Kirkland. So I thought this was very cute. And $2.40. Then I got three of these little candles because they were $3.99 a piece but 50% off. So they were $1.99 a piece. And this is the size I need because I had bought these glass jars from, they don't have any smell. But they do kind of feel like wax on the inside. Um, they do have, I don't know if they have a timer. Replaceable battery included. This product contains a button and a coin cell battery. Nope. But anyways, they were three, they were $1.99 a piece, so they came to $5.97. And I have three, and I'm so mad because one of the jars, and they're quite large, and they were only six dollars from Kirkland's, but they're like big jars like this, and they have a little wire thing with a wire handle. They kind of come down like this, and inside it can hold a votive. It has a glass, so I thought these would be good because I'm not going to burn a real candle. One of them is cracked, and I had gotten them over a month ago from Kirkland's, and I don't have a Kirkland's near me, so I'd have to mail it back, and I'm like, it's only six dollars. It was only six, so I'm just turned it around. It's not cracked where it's falling apart, but it has cracks in it. And I've heard other YouTubers say when they've ordered glass things from Kirkland, they come cracked all the time. This was my first time because I ordered three of them. One was cracked. Had I noticed it when I opened it, I probably would have called them. But like I said, it was $6 and to have to ship it back probably cost me $6. So... I just let it be because it was over a month ago or it was the June 29th. So it's almost a month. I don't have the packing slip. I'd have to call them and I was like, oh, for $6. So then these tobacco baskets, I bought them in white in this size and a little bigger. And I have them hanging on my wall. And what I did was I put this size inside the other one. So it sticks out a little and goes around it. And then I made a wreath out of the stuff I bought from Target and I um, used wire to connect two baskets and the wreath together. So it looks like a, a smaller basket, which is like this size and then this basket. 
but this is a smaller basket. And these were, and I wasn't going to get any more, but they're $17.99 a piece. And they came out to $3.60. So $7.20. I just was like, I want the brown now because I'm going to put them on the opposite sides of the wall where the windmill is hanging in the dining room. And then what I had gotten from them was two stems. They're kind of, I was looking for wheat. And this was the closest I could get. And this is like a brown color, even though it might look like purple or something. It's really brown. And this one is white with the brown. And I'm going to put them, cut them, and put them in here. Because on Kirkland's site, they have something like that. And it was like 25 bucks with the wheat already in it. So these were $3.99 a piece, and they were 50% off. So I got both for $3.99. And then my last find, which I really, really liked. It's humongous. It's this farmhouse sign. It's huge. And it's normally $34.99. It was $7. So I was like, well, I can't pass that up. $7. So those were the good finds. They just don't have a lot of stuff left. Especially the good signs. They have signs that I don't really care for. This is the only one. I was looking for a kitchen one. And they did have one that said country kitchen. But I really didn't want that. I wanted just kitchen on it. And then I'm looking for an eat sign. But I may just make my own. But that was my small Hobby Lobby haul. Hope you enjoy it. And give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.